All right, so we're gonna boil some corn or corned beef brisket, which is this. We'll boil that because we're gonna make uh, Rubens on the Blackstone. So I'm gonna take a nice corned beef brisket. And that's just about room temperature. So it'll go, it'll boil pretty quick, pretty nice. And pretty much just put it in like that. It should be, oh, here you go. There's a spice packet in there for spices. Pick, cold pickling spice. So we're just going to put a little, put some water in there as well. So it's covered. And we're just going to put it on flame over here. Sucker up. Let it boil, start boiling, and then he's gonna let it boil up. And that's it. That's how you boil the brisket. Alright, so our corned beef is done. Now I'm gonna slice it up, put it in a little pan here, and then I'm gonna use. Uh, I'm going to cut across the grain. Slice off some of its fat though. Doesn't take long, I let it cool down a little bit so it's easy to touch. Of course, the next step is putting it on the grill with, and then getting some rye bread, some thick cut Swiss cheese, some Thousand Island or Russian dressing, some sauerkraut, and a nice dill pickle served on the side, maybe even some chips. Seeing as how it's going to be on the grill, again, using my fingers isn't that bad of a deal. I want it nice and thin. Alright. I'm just going to take it, put it in the container.
colors. It's going to be a day or two before I use this, but this is the time I had to cook it. I wanted to make sure it was good. And there you have it.